السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ و برکاتہ ہاؤ ار یو کبی بھائی الحمدللہ السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ و برکاتہ کیا حال ہے الطاب بھائی الحمدللہ السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سسٹر میما ویلکم بیک السلام علیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ تھینک یو فور یو ٹوڈے ہیلو ایوری ون ان شاء اللہ یو ار آل ڈوئنگ ویل Hello, Sister Zahra. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. We missed you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have missed this class as well. All right, can you guys see the camera? Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, so we'll just wait another couple of minutes and let's see if more people join then inshallah we can start our class. We're missing brother Javed today. Is he not in today? I don't see him yet. No worries. Okay, Nahmudu huwa nussalli ala rasooli al-kareem. Awad billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So as if you have paid attention to my message, I said today I am going to review the sentence. Okay, how many of you are feeling that you are really good with sentences? Anyone? Uh, did I lose everybody? Okay, can you guys unmute yourself and maybe we can have a quick chat? So, so how do we all feel about sentences? So, so. reasonably good reasonably good okay so for most of the people the, the thing is the way we learn is this that if we identify our um, weak points or the areas where we weak and if we are honest about it then we can always go back and and fix those areas right so yeah. personally i feel that sentences is, is something where we do lack some basic understanding so that is why i'm trying to cover this today to see if i can uh, you know try to make sense okay so sentences first of all what is a sentence what is a sentence can somebody give me a definition of a sentence 
in your own words. It doesn't have to be a correct or, you know, a basic, like a book definition, anything of your understanding. What is a sentence? Combination of words. Combination of words. That gives sense or. Combination of words, very good. Which. Complete. Which gives. A Some complete, meaning. A, compl a complete meaning, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. For example, the book is new. Does that seem like a sentence? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I say the new book, is that a sentence? Not complete. Or if I say a new book, right? then it is making some sense, but it's not a complete It doesn't give you a complete meaning, right? Okay, so it's a combination of words, okay? Words in Arabic are of three kinds. We know that one kind of word is a noun, and then Sounds another good. is a harf, and the third one is a verb. Word. Yeah. Now, in order to understand sentences, especially the nominal sentences, nomi, nomi, no, sentence, what do we need to understand first? The sentence starts with no. noun. Some yeah. name. Okay. So no. now, since we are doing it again, uh, we need to probably either take notes or if you get stuck on something, instead of me keep completing the lesson without you understanding it, stop me, let's work together and try to understand this thoroughly so that we can move forward. Because if you remember on Monday, when we did the Surah Al-Baqarah analysis, tell you. verse number five, very much. when we did num good, verse good, number five, wonderful. you had good holidays? Uh, Brother Majid, Salaam Alaikum. Yes. Okay, so, so what I was saying that uh, if we don't understand, then let's stop, slow down, try to understand it before we move on. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. Because if we do this over and over again, and if you still don't get it, then you'll still be stuck at some point. So I was saying that Surah Al-Baqarah verse number five, when we did uh, analysis, we did come across a sentence which had a little bit unusual structure. So moving forward, this is a, that's the intro of what I'm trying to do today. So let's look at the noun. And by now we all know that a noun starts with, it has four characteristics. So it has a gender and it has a number and it has a capacity and it has a status, okay? So in order to make yourself uh, comfortable with this, you can call it G N C S. Okay. What are the possible values of a G? It's either going to be an M or an mm -hmm. F. Everybody agree with me on that? Yeah. This is clear, right? Yeah. Okay. So the second part is either can be it could be singular or singular two dual and or two plural. plus. And you can also say it one uh, or D or S as singular, D for dual, and you can and say PL for plural. plural. Got it? Okay. For capacity, is either can be a common noun or a proper noun. Are there any other variations of this? No, right? Mm -hmm. either the capacity could either be a common noun or a proper noun. Are we clear on this? Yes. Okay, I need to hear more than one person say yes. I want yes. pretty much everybody to say yes because this should be the most basic prerequisite stuff we should know by now. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you know it, just say it. No need to be shy about that. So, if I say give me capacity, your answer could only be a C or a P. P Some for noun. common noun. P for common, and P for proper noun. Proper. Yeah. 
No, it's not a rocket science. So we just need to keep it simple. We're just trying to define something. If I talk about a status of a noun, I know that I could have a rafa, rafa, nasab, nasab or ja. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how do we practice this? How do we bring this into our practice? So if I give you a word, Raju Lun. Okay, Raju Lun. This is a lamb actually. They belong there. So what is Raju Lun, by the way? The, what is the, the translation of Raju Lun? Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> now, by default, or let's, let's apply this G and C S on this guy. Okay. So the G is M. 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 The N is one. One, one. singular. B is C, oh. common. Yeah. And the status is? Rafa. 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 So, okay. So was this exercise hard? No. I don't think so. Right? Because by now, I think we have done this quite a bit. Now look at the same thing if I do this. If I say Rajulani. That means two men. Rajulani. Rajulani right? So what is the M? What is the gender? Male. Male. What is the number? Two. 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 What is the C? C. Common. Common. Yeah. Common. And what is the status? Status? Rafa. 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 Okay. Rafa. So if you can look at a word or a noun. And then you can come up with this. This is the very first basic exercise you need to do on your own or with somebody. And if I say, uh, there is another one, uh, Raju, uh, uh, what is the okay, Rijalum? Rijalum. So what is the, uh, the G? M. 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 What is the number? Plural. Plural. PL. And what is the capacity? A. A common. And what is common. The, the status is? Rafa. Rafa. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at this now. Uh, if I say Raju, what is that? What is the G? M. M. What is the number? It's two. Uh, no, Raju Lan. Okay, Raju Lan, right? Because Rajul, Raju Lun, Raju yes. Lan. So, singular. Okay, it's a singular. Okay. Singular. Okay, the number is one, yes. Mm -hmm. And the C is? Capacity, uh, common. 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 And what are the status? Nasab. Nasab. Do you see how this changed from here to? Here, mm -hmm. got it. Yes. So, very basic information you need to clear in your head before you move forward is: Do I understand my G gender? Do I understand my number? Do I understand my capacity? And do I understand my status of a noun? When we when we are learning the noun, and then by default, the noun is written in the rougher status. Yes, Rajulun, singular, Rafa. Rajulani, dual, Rafa. Rijalun, then it is the plural, Rafa. Got it? <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Now, if you understand this, let's look at something else. We say like... Uh, Rajalun or Rajulun. Like this kind of year. Sali. Sali. What is the meaning of this? If, I, right if I do a simple one, right. I can say a man. A righteous, righteous man. And okay. a righteous, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I could say a righteous man. man. Mm -hmm. Is that a sentence? Yes. No. No. 
not, no. No. Not a sentence. Why? Right. Because there is no oh, is. He. Yeah, he is a righteous I can man. Okay. Say, Got it. If I can say this is a righteous is a righteous man. That is mm -hmm. a sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what is this? Now, how do I define this into this? How do I make a not a sentence? This is a fragment. Can you see this fragment? Do you see there is a fragment here? Okay. Let's apply the GNC. The GNCS is M one C R. What did we do here? Male, singular, singular. Rafa. What about here? M one C Rafa. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you understand this and you have to make this fragment into a sentence, you have to follow a formula. You remember the formula? Mm -hmm. First of all, we are dealing with a Num sentence. In a mathematical uh, situation, how do we call something? We say a x plus b is equal to c. Something like that. If I tell you what a is, a is 1, x is 5, b is equal to 2, how do I find the c? I would say one, mm -hmm. five, plus one plus two, two plus seven. Is equal to C, right? Mm -hmm. So, when in, in a mathematical, when you have a bracket like this, and then this is a multiplication here, right? Mm -hmm. One multiply by seven is equal to seven. seven. So C is equal to seven. seven. How many people understand this? This is basic math. We didn't do anything. Mm -hmm very hi-fi here. Did we do anything hi-fi here? No. Good. So when I say a sentence, Jumla Ismiya, I'm giving you the formula. I'm saying Jumla Ismiya must have a Muqtada. Everybody say Muqtada. Muqtada. It's called, in English it's called subject. Okay. And then it has a khabar. What does it have? Khabar. Khabar. So Muqtada and khabar follow this G N C S. Got it? Right. Okay. So if you understand what GNC is, like you said, Rajulun, Salihun, M1CR, M1CR. So here, the capacity is supposed to be P. And the capacity here is supposed to be? C. P. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. And the status is supposed to be R. And the status is supposed to be R. Yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. And the gender has to be same. If it's male, if it's, it's male. Yeah. So male, female, then it's going to be male, female. And the number has to be one, two, two plus, and it has to be one, two, two plus. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I said, this is not a sentence because it says righteous man. But I want to say the man is righteous or this is a righteous man. So how do I change my Rajulun from C to P? From common noun, proper noun. Ar Rajulun. Ar Rajulu. Rajulu. Lu. Rajulu. Rajulu or maybe Rajulu. Okay. So then it becomes the man. Yes? Proper. 
then is righteous. Is that making sense? So now I have changed. In order to make a sentence, I have to change my C into P. Is it P now? Let's apply the. Yeah. Uh, it is M one P. It's only for one. M one P R. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, is the khabar supposed to be common or P? Common. 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 Is this already common? Yeah. It is already common, right? Yeah. And what about the, uh, the status? Rafa. Rafa. Do I need C and R? Yes, yeah. C and R. So if I say mm -hmm. Sali, Un, then think about that, what that means. So this one is M1 R. Oh. The man is righteous. The man is righteous. Right. See it? So it has Muptada and it has Khabar and it is Jumla Ismiya. That is the Jumla Ismiya. So does, does this style of making you understand is better? Do you understand it better now? Yes. Any question, anybody, if anybody has any question, please, this is the time to ask because if we miss this, then anything I do on the next page, you will be continue, continue to miss it. Yeah? Anybody has any questions? On page one, we wrote Rijalan. What is meaning of that? Rijalan mean men. No, no, Rijalan, the, the, the above, little bit higher. You mean this one? Yeah. This is Rajulan. That is Rajulan. Nasab. The only thing I've done, I've changed the status. So what is meaning of it? A man. Okay. The meaning it's doesn't change with the status. The status could be Rajulan and then the status could be Raju. Lin. Raju. Lin. Is it becoming Brother Abid Mafood? Yes. If it's in a sentence and if it's uh, nasab, then it will be a mafood. You're right. And if it is uh, the uh, jar, then it will be jar majroor or mudaf mudafite. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then it becomes, yeah, mafood. Okay. Then yes. So if you guys understand this uh, information that I gave you right here, let me get rid of this thing. Then I believe we can move forward. So I hope that it is very clear now what the sentences are, right? Okay. Yeah. So we have, again, Muqtada right. and Khabar. Okay. Muqtada is coming from Ibtada. Ibtada. Start. Ibtada okay. means start. And Muqtada meaning the one who starts. Yeah, they say Muslim, Musafir, Muntazir. You understand when there is a ma in the front, that means the person or the thing which is starting something. If it's ibtada, if you change the alif with the muqtada, that means that is the word which is starting it. So let's look at some sentences and tell me what's happening over here. If I say haza. Who can tell this me? book? This book. This book. No, this is a book. This is a book. Because look, we have to keep this in the back of your mind whenever you're doing a chumla. So Muptada is supposed to be P. Is Haza P or C? Haza is P, right? P. Haza is P. And and the khabar is supposed to be C. So kitabun is C. Um, is it Rafa? Yes. Is it uh, Rafa? Yes. Is it male? Male, singular, singular. Got it? Okay, now let's look at the second second one. Haza. Haza kitabun. 
جدید کتاب اور کتاب فرگمنٹ مرکب اضافی اور مرکب توسیفی توسیفی بیکاز جدید از لائک کوالٹی مرکب توسیفی فرگمنٹ ود دی وٹ ڈو وی سی ہاؤ ڈو وی سی توسیفی وی سی موسوف موسوف از کتاب And yeah. sifar this? Jadid. Okay. Kitabu Zaydin. What is this? Murakkab Izafi. Murakkab Izafi. Why is it Murakkab Izafi? Ownership. Possession. Possession. The book of Zayd or Zayd's book. So in, we, in this case we have Muzaf. Muzaf Ilai. Ilai. Can everybody see this? Yes. Yes. Javed. Brother Javed, are you with me? I am with you, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now, this is one category of sentences. So keep in mind, I'm going to ask you or tell you some <laughs> more information about it. Okay. Then I put another sentence. Zay. Strong sticks. Zaydun. Abu. Abu. Tabibun. What did I say? Zayd's father is a doctor. Father is a doctor. Is doctor. So is Zayd here, what is the, the is one? Is male, is singular, it is plural, I mean a proper, and it's rafa. Got it? Yeah. Right. But abuhu tabibun is a sentence by itself. His father is a doctor. Do you see that? Abu Hu Tabibun. Do you guys see that? So this is a sentence. This is not a, this is not a fragment. It is a sentence by itself. Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Now let's look at another one. Zaydun Daraba Hamidan. Okay. Is that Muqtada here? Good, right? It all qualifies? Yes. What is Daraba Hamidan? Khabar. Khabar. But is it Jumla Feliya? Yeah. yeah. Can you guys see that? Yes, yeah, it's the Jumla Feliya. Okay. Good. So keep that in mind that Khabar, how is changing its shape? It could be a singular object. It could be a fragment. See, there are two examples of two different fragments. It could be, khabar could be a jumla itself. See that? And the khabar can be jumla. It could be a jumla ismiya or it could be a jumla failia. Brother Fawad, mashallah, are you there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Zaydun ma'a ma'al imami. Zaydun. 
So is this jar majroor? Yeah. Ma'a is jar and imam is majroor. Okay. Another one. Al imamu fil masjidi. Is it jar majroor? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, if you just uh, agree with me, I think this is mudaf, zarf, is zarf, and mudafile. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Okay, this is zarf, mudafile, and I'll t tell you what that, why that is. Okay, Imam al Masjidi, Jar al Majroon. So, here, this category, whether we take a singular noun or a fragment, we call it mufrad. What do we call it? Mufrad. Mufrad. And we're talking about the khabar only. Okay, we're not talking about muqtada. Muqtada is already, we know. We're talking about the khabar. In this situation, in these sentences, the khabar is mufrad. Mufrad means like a single unit. Only one. Okay. In here, what is the definition of the khabar? Is it, it has been a jumla, right? Khabar is what? Jumla, right? In this second category, the khabar was jumla. Jumla yes, ismiya yeah. in this case, and jumla failure in this case. You guys agree with me on this? Yes. Brother Altaf? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sister I'm just Zahra? giving a chance to others. Okay, Sister Zahra, do you yes, see yes. that there's a jumla here? Mashallah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now here, Another name for jar majroor or zarf mudafile is shibu jumla. <laughs> Have we heard the word shibu jumla before? Yes. yes. It's murakkab jari. Yeah. Shibu jumla means similar to a sentence. Similar like. or, or a like a sentence. Like a sentence. So on this page, what we have learned is that a khabar can take different forms. It could be a singular noun. It could be a fragment. It could be, you know, another kind of fragment. And it could be a complete sentence. Okay. A complete sentence. Okay. Similarly, it could also be jar bajroor or zarf mudafile. Okay. So if I make a chart out of that, so, so, brother Abed, one question on the, the, the this this page which you are taking out. Yes. The last one which you are saying, Jar Majroor or Shubh Jumla, or it is a Murakab Jari, right? Yes, it is Murakab Jari. Can it be? Let me, can let it me, be on the top category, Mufrad? Because the, there are Murakab Izafi, Murakab Tausifi. Yes. It, it looks the same. Yes, it could be. But just to explain to you that the Jar Majroor or Shibu Jumla has a special role in the Jumla. So I had to separate it to show you okay. some information. So now if we look at the, the information here, so oh. we have something called Shibu Jumla. Okay. A few lessons back, I said, if you come across a jar majroor, a shibu jumla can be of two types. That anytime you see a jar majroor, you can call it shibu jumla. Okay? So next time in a sentence, if I say, uh, if I see a jar majroor combination, and if I call it shibu jumla, are you guys going to understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. So if there is a jar majroor, and instead of calling it jar majroor, I said this is a shibu jumla, then you will not, you won't be surprised. You're not going to be surprised, because shibu jumla another name for jar majroor. But shibu jumla, another category of shibu jumla is zarf nafile. Okay. So zarf we talked about zarf means makan or zaman. Zaman. Place, Place time. 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 This is called a special kind of special mudaf. 
what is it called special mudaf yes and what comes after mudaf 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 so if i'm calling zarf mudaf whether it's a time or a place then anything which will follow it will be mudaf ilay agree mm -hmm. okay so now let's look at khabar here in the previous slide the khabar was let's see if i can show you what i mean by that okay or um, not khabar a jumla can act as a khabar yes question question for you guys yeah yes yes similarly jumla can be act as sifat yeah okay there is another thing we have not understand yet but let me put it hal you know what hal is or hal is if i say i came in the room smiling what was my condition happy happy so that is hal yeah urdu mein hum jab milte hain kisi ko bolte hain pakistani mein urdu mein bolte hain kya hal hai basically we are saying aap kaise hain how are you feeling that is so hal is basically a condition okay and another thing for jumla is sila can sila be a jumla can jumla be a sila or sila can be a jumla what is sila by the way reward after all is <laughs> sila is reward <laughs> but allah allah ji allazi isme mausool okay so what i'm saying is that when you are learning a sentence a sentence can play a different role in different conditions okay if if jumla is khabar what is the the counterpart of khabar muqtada muqtada so in this uh, this what did we look here muqtada jumla yeah okay now what is the counterpart of sifat mausoo ka ko ka ko ka ko okay um uh, mute your mic if you are not talking thank you okay what about sila what is the counterpart of sila jisme mausool ke mausool since we have not discussed this the counterpart is zulhal but you don't need to know that okay so a jumla can act as a khabar a jumla can act as a sifat a jumla can act as a hal a jumla can act as a sila and whenever they have these things they have to connect back to their partner or their counterpart muqtada mausuf zulhal isme mausul we have done a lot about this in the last two three sessions yes abi surah bakara five verses we have done isme mausul sila a lot didn't we do that yeah what did i say about sila that if sila is a jumla then normally what kind of jumla it is fragment sila is normally what kind of jumla ismia 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 or the failure ismia no jum sila is mostly a, a verbal sentence okay okay, okay. okay. so remember that allazi okay so before i do anything else let's try to apply this knowledge right away so that we can see what we have so, learned sorry brother abed you bhai how sila sila is a, a, a jumla ismia because it starts with the isme mausul allazi no um yes allazi is isme mausul but sila comes after that okay. yeah 
my question is sila is normally a sentence and most of the time the default is that is normally a verbal sentence that is what my claim is okay but if if isme mausool or sila are coming together combined those those are jumlaismiya no not necessary because allazina is just a noun it's not a jumla it is a noun which is stand for the one who so any time when you have a situation like where you have allazi or allazina or allati allati something has to come in front of it which is known as a sila and sila could be one of the roles of sila is a jumla failiya it could also be a ismiya it could be a shibu jumla but normally most frequent is a verbal sentence as a sila that is okay. the fact i'm telling you okay 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 so let's talk about this verse al hamdu what do we understand about this if we are trying to look at a jumla and most of the, uh, right now what are the, what kind of jumla we are understanding jumla ismiya right yes 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 okay so alhamdu sister zahra yes if you apply the g and c on this namin tell me the gender um male male tell me the number one one tell me the uh, status uh rafa rafa and tell me the capacity common no it is no, al. Common. al proper al. proper now proper, yeah. sorry can this be a candidate for muktada yes do you guys see what i did here yeah. alhamdu and the next thing is lillah e yeah rabbil where did we do this this is the first verse of surah al fatiha yeah. agree yeah. okay so here we looked at alhamdu we did our the gnc and we found out that alhamdu it is a good candidate for muktada yes yes now let's look at lillahi can i write lilla like this le allah so yes. it is going to be if i separate it basically yeah. mm-hmm. the word was the harf letter lam with the kasra and the word yeah, was yeah. allah who because by default how do we write the arabic sentence or arabic noun tanween right because allah yeah. who already has the al in it so i cannot say allah hun yeah. you, know I mean? yeah. you know what i mean so allah who so it was allah who this is jar what is this going to do to allah majrur allah hai so then this will become allah e you see how this become lillahi yes the whole thing was allah who yeah. and it becomes lillahi because of the lam here yeah okay do you see that okay yes. so i'm just going to say for now that this lam is jar or jara jara mean the जारा Now, in order to analyze this, you have to look oh. at this. It was basically Rabbun Al Alamin. 
Okay. Uh, sorry, Alamina. So the actual word was Rabbun. Yes. But when you make a mudaf, what are the qualities of mudaf? Become uh, kasra. No, no, no. So you cannot have tanween on a mudaf. Yeah. It will be Rabbul. Rabbul Alameen. Okay. Now, what is the the al is not there and the, the tanween I took out. So it becomes Rabbul Alameen. Correct? Right. So far with me? Now, yeah. Alameen yeah. is supposed to be what? Is it supposed to be Nasab or Jar? It is uh, Jar. Jar. Because Mudaf Ilay is always Jar. Jar. So, Al Alameena, can it be Jar? Yes. Yes, right? So, Mina, it should Mina. be. Yes, Muslimina, Muslimina. So, it will be Rabbul Alameen, right? Or Alameena. But you see a Jar Majroor before Rabb here? Lillah, yes. he will make yeah. it. Make it. So, he will make the Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. Do you understand now how this Kasra came here instead of Yes. Jar? Yeah. Okay. So, so sorry, sorry no, no. question. Yes. It, it will it will make Rabbo as Rabbi. Yes. Will it make Alamina as Alamini or no? No, because Alamina is already Jar. We just talked about Alamina minus. Yeah. Okay. But it's Jar. Okay. Yes. Jar and Nasa will same. Same. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let me see. Okay. So we talked about that uh, that this jumla can always be considered sifat. You remember that? We yeah, just said yeah. that. And again, yesterday or on Monday, I said when you see a nakara ism, this lillahi instead of calling it majru right away. Before it becomes a majroor, it can qualify as what it can qualify as? Marifa or Suf. Yeah. And then Rabbil Alameen, Lord of the is Words, that Allah is the Lord of the Lord, Lord uh, the Lord of the Words, then is Muzah Muzafile before, and then Muzah Muzafile can become Sift. Yes. And then yeah. Mosuf plus Sift can be Murakab Stasi. Yes. Murakab yeah. Jari, right? This is Murakab yeah. Jari. Because Jar Majroor is, and this is Murakab Tosi Yeah. This is Murakab Izafi. Yeah. And then this is Murakab Jari. Murakab Jari. Okay. Now, did we learn that Jar plus Majroor is? Shubu Jumla. Can Shibu Jumla be Khabar? Yes. Yes. So this Shibu Jumla, after you analyze this whole thing, this is our Khabar. So in, in other words, Brother Abid, Alhamdulillah itself is a sentence. And Alhamdulillah, if you just read it like that, yes, it is yeah. a sentence because it could be a Shibu Jumla. The Mubtada and Khabar is there. Yes. Right? So, Shibu Jumla, because it has continuation, so we had to understand that how we made the whole thing as a khabar by doing all these analysis. That I, instead of calling Allah a majroor right away, I made it first mosuf. If I made it mosuf, I needed the sifat. Yes? In order to find the sifat, I had to look at Rabbil Alameen. I did the analysis. It's become Muzaf Muzafile. And Muzaf Muzafile itself can be the Sifat. And then Mosuf plus Sifat becomes Majroor. And then it becomes Khabar. Or becomes Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Do you see the layers now? That what I try to do here? Yeah. And this is the same thing which we did in the verse number five. We said, um, we said, um, Ulaika Allah Hudan Mir Rabbihim. Mul Muflihun. Wahumul Muflihun. Right? 
So, so brother yeah, Abed, yes, sir. One other question. You you mentioned one time Khabar one and Khabar two. Yes. So can we say over there Lillah is Khabar one and Rabbul Alamin is Khabar two? No, uh, because if we do this, then when we have a Rabbul Alamin here, we have a Mudaf Mudafine. So we have another Tarkib. I mean, you yes, you could do that. I should not say that you can, but there are multiple ways of doing the analysis. So one of the ways, the easy way, I did it like this. Yeah. There is another thing you can do. There is another concept called badal. You know what badal is? Alternate. Alternate a substitute. Rabbil yeah. Alameen can be a badal for Allah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we did not take that approach. We could have said that, uh, you know, Rabbil Alameen is badal. Okay. Now look at this. If I consider the approach number one, where I take took the Sifat Mausuf approach, the translation will be Tamam Tarife Tamam Jahan Ke Malik Allah Ke Liye Hain Tamam Jahano Ke Malik Allah Ke Liye Hain Ya Tamam Jahano Ke Allah Ke Liye Hain Tamam Tarife Tamam Jahan Tamam Jahan Ke Allah Ke Liye Hain You understand? If yeah. I do the other one, the translation will become Tamam tarife Allah ke liye hai, jo tamam jahano ka rab hai. Mm. So there are, so for the other people who do not understand Arab, uh, Urdu, the way we take the sentence structure, it can affect the translation. Sister Zahra, mm. Sister Omar. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, do you guys follow this? What I did here? Yes. How yes, I, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, at a, between number one and ten, pick me a, tell me a number, all of you, where you feel today that you are at number five, number seven, number nine, and tell Eleven. me where you think you were before. You were at one, two, whatever that number was. I need some feedback to understand that these different techniques I use to bring the same concept again and again. Is it helping you and are you getting it? Yes, definitely. I said very Thank helpful. You. Like, okay. it's, it give us a revision as well, and we are learning new thing. Okay, good. So I need brother Kabir. You've been quiet lately. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. If you want to get a rating, it's around six, seven. Six, seven. And before this lecture, it is around four, five. Yeah, you can say okay. that. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Sister Zahra. Yeah, for me, seven. Seven. Mashallah. Seven is good. Seven yeah. is excellent. Mashallah. Yeah. Very good. Inshallah. Yes. Any other thing? Any other comment you want to say? Uh, me? No. Okay. Sister, uh, Brother Javed? Yeah, maybe seven. Yeah, right. And before well, this lecture? Is ten. <laughs> oh, for Brother Fawad is ten. Mashallah. Very good job. No, so no, Javed, I, no, no, no. I'm saying for Brother Javed. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Javed, I would give him <laughs> Brother Javed, mashallah. He's, he's the kind of person. He doesn't show, but he knows a lot. Um, okay. Um, Brother Javed has a question the other day. He was saying something about Haza and Hazihi. Remember, Brother Javed? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, but, yes. So, Hazihi is for female, and Dunya is female. That's not fair. <laughs> okay. The Jannah is female. The Jahannam is female. All the, uh, you don't. All, you, all these uh, names are yeah. Everything, every yes. universe and everything. All, all these names are like uh, uh, female and monas. Yeah. Even Malaika is female. Yeah. So okay. yeah, Malaika. Okay, Sister uh, Umema. Um. I feel as uh, maybe 6.5, 6 7 ish. Yeah, right, yeah. That's I, good. That's good. Yeah, I just I need some review on the zarf and the shibu jimla and okay. the pedal. I think and I don't know okay. about the pedal. Yeah. Perfect. That's very good. No, anything above five is uh, good news for me because uh, I feel that next time when we do the analysis and I try to say, 
this is shibu jumla or this is khabar or this is muktada at least uh, the concept will stand out in your mind that okay this is what i'm looking at whether you understand 100% or not that's a different story but for example this gnc we did like m1rp is that making sense like how do we identify the words yes. uh, yeah yes yes Helpful, yeah. yeah uh brother altaf i think uh, definitely every time with when we go through uh, i discover something or kind of have a better understanding okay. uh, and, and i would say seven eight now maybe eight nine us before and seven eight nine now so that's a kind of a, it, i i never consider myself perfect but uh, it's well, it's way back yeah alhamdulillah we none of us are perfect but alhamdulillah yeah. every lecture alhamdulillah, if you're perfect. making if you're making progress and you understand uh okay but then again try to either read or do these exercises on your own so that you understand better um yeah. Okay, Madiha, Sister Madiha. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome. Uh, five point five six. Five point five six. Okay, anything above five, I'm okay with that. But not nothing before five. five. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is um, helpful. Though. That's very helpful. Did you understand some uh, some concept was clear now? Like yeah, the are? right the the method that you used today was helpful. It simplifies Perfect. the whole thing. Okay, that's fine. So now let me close with this one last uh, sentence or one more thing I want to tell you. When you are dealing with a jumla, okay, and especially when a jumla is a khabar or it has some connector. For example, what I mean by connector is when you are dealing with. Uh, this jumla the jumla can act as a khabar it can act as a sifat it can act as a hal it can act as a sila yeah okay. and then this. this is it has to go back to the partner which is muktada in the case of khabar mausuf in the case of you know sifat and ismi mausuf so there is a word you will hear next time when you are listening to any arabic lecture they call it ayat oh huh? there is a word called ayat ayat okay mm -hmm. and what is ayat is normally by ayat is mean is a pronoun what is it ayat mean pronoun pronoun meaning ramir ramir okay so what that means is like I give you this example so that it makes sense to you if you look at the example is the khabar here a jumla yes okay zaidun zaidun is muktada yes abuhu tabibun what is the pronoun here who his father his father right whose father Zayd's father. father, right? So the ayat in this sentence is a zamir, and it is who. Agree? Because in a when a sentence is there as a khabar or other, you know, in this kind of situation, it must have a ayat, which is normally a zamir, and it connects back to the partner. So is Zayd male? Yes. Yes. Is it singular? Yeah. 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 So who? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now in this yeah. one, Daraba Hamidan Zaidun Zaid hit you Hamid Zaid hit Hamid. What is the the hidden zamir in Daraba? You. Uh, huwa. 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 So the ayat zamir. Is huwa in this sentence, which connects back to the muktada. Yes. The ayat can we can say like the zayid, yeah. The second one. No, ayat is a zamir, a pronoun in the sentence. It must have an ayat because it must it act as a connector to the partner. So here, abu hu, because it says zayid, is abu hu. If there was hum here, then it was should be abu hum. 
You get it? So this zameer has to match in the, the gender and number to the partner. It is a kind of a connector. So this is the concept of ayat. Okay? So I'm just leaving you with that. Maybe we'll talk about it more, inshallah. And um, I did not get a chance to upload the lecture last time. So I'm going to upload both of the lectures tonight, inshallah. So if inshallah. you get stuck or you want to review it, inshallah, look at it. Um, one of our brother, uh, Ehtasham, he was supposed to join us today, but he couldn't, I guess. And his uncle passed away in uh, Bangladesh. So please remember him in your du'as. And, uh, and tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Again, uh, the, the curfew or the restriction that extended to February 5. So it's a very sad situation that uh, we can't pray in the masjid. We have been missing Juma, and it hurts a lot. But what the best we can do is uh, make du'a for each other and make du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he eases our situation here. Now, what happened in Quebec uh, is even harder. They are making people stay home from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. So it's like a more stricter curfew there. So we haven't reached that state yet. But let's hope that uh, soon we, we get our uh, masajid open, inshallah. Inshallah. I mean, so keep me in your du'as. Inshallah, talk to you later. Jazakallah uh, khair, brother Abdul, for joining the session. I know I didn't ask you any question because I, I said I'm not going to put you on the spot. But mashallah, you came. That means a lot to me. And I and hope brother, you picked up. Yeah. I, 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 had, I had a bit of struggle to get on to Zoom. Yeah. Um, and uh, I and I know that I picked up a little bit, um, but M1PR and MC1R, mm -hmm. uh, I can partly see M is for masculine. Um, can you don't mind if? Uh... Yeah, not a problem. Okay. <coughs> I'm trying to find that piece of paper where I started with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here. So we said that if we are trying to understand a sentence, okay. and especially a nominal sentence, we have to start have from to a start. noun. When we start okay. from a noun, we need to understand the four properties of the noun, gender, number, capacity, and status. So G, N, C, S. Okay. okay. The, the, the possible options for gender is male or female. Correct. For number, it could be one, two, or more than two. Singular, yeah. dual, plural. For capacity, it can be either common or proper. Yes, okay. C or P. For the status, it could be either Rafa, Natha, or Ja. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, I got it. Okay. Yeah. So basically, Rajulun is male, is singular, common noun, Rafa. Masha, okay. Got it? Yeah. So yes. that is how we started today, so that we can identify the words. So, yeah. you know. Alhamdulillah, that was the part I missed, you know. Okay, no worries. Inshallah, take care and see you next week. Um, only humble request that over the weekend, if you can practice some of this, so that inshallah. on Monday, when yeah. you do the next verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, some of this will come to you naturally, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakallah. Assalamu wa Thank you. Which is gone. Okay, alhamdulillah.